going on, fellow viewer? This is Steampunk J here, coming at you from my humble art studio with another speed draw session! Yeah! How is everyone doing? I hope your day is going good. I am... Uh, I should be happy, but you know what they say. Uh, in the world of sports and just as things in life, all good things must come to an end. So yeah, the Hurricanes, we've taken a loss <laughs> in this video, in this game against the Chicago Blackhawks. And what really hurts me the most is that in this game, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks actually had stopped our five game winning streak. Like I, it, it was, it was tough for me to hear those words come from the announcer's mouth that, uh, and make it even worse, it's the announcer from Chicago. I mean, he has, he has to, uh, he's the hype man and the announcer for the Chicago Blackhawks. And of course, the announcer is happy, he's ecstatic. And, uh, of course, when he said those words with all the pride and joy that he said that he could muster, like, and the Chicago Blackhawks have shut down the Hurricanes five game winning streak. And I'm like, oh my God, my heart just ripped in two when I heard him say that. So, uh, but it's something I'm, just, I'm gonna have to live with right here. So, uh, so, uh, let me just talk to you about this game. This game right here, uh, compared to the last uh, Chicago versus Blackhawks Hurricane game. Uh, you've heard of uh, the term slap happy, right? Well, this game was goal happy. They were shooting goals left and right, and I think the final uh, count was, yeah, the, the final score was five, I think, to four, I guess, uh, from five to four. Uh, no, 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 I, I scratched that because I forgot about that last goal, but I'll, I'll tell you about it when I get to it. Yeah, the final goal was six to four. So it was, there was a lot of goals being scored here in this game. So uh, first period, let me start off that the hurricane started off the game uh, with uh, scoring the goal first. So it was uh, by number 20, Sebastian Ajo starting off the game uh, with starting off the hurricane scoring the first goal. And all of a sudden, the Blackhawks, they just uh, started uh, turning up the heat. And they scored actually three goals in the first period. So the first so first period, the score was 3-1. to one. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, the, the Blackhawks are getting serious. And then we go into the second period with uh, uh, Nito, Nito Nito Reimer. <laughs> I'm gonna get his names. I think I'm getting. I'm think I'm getting better at pronouncing this guy's name. Number 21, uh, Nito 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 Reiner, uh, scoring the goal, and then uh, eight seconds later, we scored again. This time, number 37, uh, Zvechnikov, uh, again scoring for the Hurricanes, and we have tied up the game three to three. And I'm like, okay, the Hurricanes, we are back. We tied the game up. And then we go into the third period, and then we started uh, seeing uh, everything begin to unravel with the Blackhawks scoring again, making it four to three. And then we tied up the game, showing a slimmer of hope from number 23, uh, Hurricane number 23, McGinnon. And just when you think that everything was about to go okay, the Blackhawks uh, scored again, making it five to four. And I just hate it. I don't know who the hell invented this concept in the game of hockey that if you are down by one point and you only have like a few minutes left in the third period, you have to do this little uh, hockey trick where you have to pull your own goalie from his net so that you can throw in one additional player in the game. But while that additional player is out there, you are technically leaving your net wide open, no one protecting it uh, from anybody. It's an easy goal. And sure enough, we gave that extra goal away. Empty nets, I hate, I, I hate it when we have to do empty nets right there, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, we, we, we were doing good, and then all of a sudden, one of the guys managed to sneak the puck away from us and just uh, scored that empty net goal against us, and that's how we managed to get uh, six uh, to four. So, yep. Uh, and uh, feeling a little bit, feeling a little bit bad that we have won, that we have lost our five-game winning streak has come to an end. What was I gonna draw? And then. Uh, 
And then it, and then uh, that thought came to mind where uh, I was thinking about that one player, uh, number 88. Uh, he got injured in the third period, and it, he, he didn't get injured because uh, one of the uh, Chicago Blackhawks was like being a sourpuss and just uh, uh, illegally hit him or tried to take him out with it in a nasty way. Uh, it turns out that... Uh, uh, Sebastian, uh, no, 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 not Sebastian, Aho, number 88. Oh my God, I'm going to have to go through my my roster right here. But number 88, uh, a Hurricane uh, player, uh, took a clean hit to the boards. It's common in the world of hockey where you have to go and like hit somebody against the boards. And if it's a clean hit, it's a clean hit. You know, no stick to the face, no uh, like unnecessary roughness up against the boards and stuff and all that. But, uh... When uh, number 88, I guess is uh, 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 Marty uh, uh, Neggies, I guess. Uh, Marty Neggies. Yeah, Marty Neggies. Uh, I'm just going to call him Marty. The last name is like very... Because it, it, it's spelled M-E-C-A-S. But the way that the uh, announcers pronounce his name is uh, um, uh, Neggies. Neggies. Uh, it, it, that, that's just how they pronounce it. Uh, he took a clean hit to the boards. But he got hit in a way that uh, both of his feet were off the ground and he went crashing to the surface of the ice and his head uh, hit the ground so hard that it bounced off the ice in an ugly way. And he was just laying there like he wasn't getting up. Now, now, let me tell you this. He was wearing his helmet. When he took a hit uh, onto the boards, thank goodness he, he was still, his helmet was still on his head. But even if you're wearing a helmet and your head just bounces off, like, you know, uh, ice, uh, it's still going to knock you senseless right there. And I thought he was concussed. Um, I can only imagine what it would be like if, if, his, if he wasn't wearing his helmet and his head bounced off the ice. He would have been a much worse uh, condition, but... You know, even if you're wearing a helmet and you bounce your head off the wall or if you bounce your head off of concrete or, or off the floor, uh, your brain is still going to be rocking back and forth and there's no way that you're going to get up from it. So uh, so I just it just got me thinking like I felt so bad for him that I had to just do something for him just to make me feel better that we just came up from a loss. And so uh, I had to include my girl Cyclone Chan, um, of course. Uh, just showing her love and support as a nurse. And by nurse, I mean, hello, nurse. Just taking care of uh, of Marty right here, number 88, after just coming, after just uh, getting his head uh, rocked from colliding with the ground. So uh, that, to me, just having that idea in my head, like, you know, someone in the back just taking care of uh, one of our players, it just makes me feel a whole lot better that, you know, we just came back from just a loss right here. So... Uh, so it's a beautiful picture that I just came up together with uh, Cyclone Chan uh, as a hot, hot nurse, a hot Derek nurse, <laughs> uh, just taking care of one of the uh, Hurricane players right there that just that just got uh, uh, hopefully um, that that just got hurt. So hopefully that he's doing OK. Uh, he'll make a speedy recovery. And if he's out for like uh, a few games, then I understand uh, definitely because that was a very nasty fall that he just took from a clean hit. And uh, of course. Uh, this happened towards like, you know, the very uh, end of the game and I just had to do like a feel good drawing right here Just knowing that uh, the, the staff and the medical staff that are right there just to make sure that the hurricane players are, are taken care of Especially uh, when you're having a rough and tough sport such as hockey So uh, from this game right here, even though uh, we just came from a loss uh, This is a feel good drawing right here And I hope that every other uh, hurricane fan out there They can look upon this drawing and say that, you know what? Uh, I feel good just I, I feel good just by hearing Steampunk Jay's words and seeing this drawing, uh, knowing that there's still love for the Hurricanes, even after we just uh, uh, lost our winning streak. But hey, we're going to come back in the next game. You, you bet Dan Skippy that we will be back. And this game right here, even though we lost, it still gave me this inspiration to draw this very, very beautiful art piece for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like the drawing that I made, then don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And also, if you want to see me do more drawings in the future where I react to sports, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and hit that notification bell to always stay notified. To all my fellow artists and art fans out there, this is Steampunk J. And always remember to keep 
on Drawing.